So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first day of the Accelerator Group. I'm really excited to be doing this with people because I know people really want to move forward um, in their business and, and talk to more people, get more people involved, and just see the amazing results that this technology can have on, on everyone. So I'm, I'm very excited that everyone wants to step up and be part of the group that are here. And um, I just kind of want to go over kind of the expectations of this group, kind of what you want. Well, you should want to commit to this for yourselves, basically. But what I wanted to have were serious people. I've done this many times with David Silverman, and people tend to, you know, decide to join because they want to be part of, they don't want to miss out. And it's more of a social thing for them. And that's great. We all want to be part of a family and a social connection in ASEA. However, in a group like this, I really want people to be serious about what they're doing and commit to talking to however many people you want to commit to. Um, I know, I, as I said, I'm working with Danielle Matthews to some degree. I know she's committing to five people a day. That's a lot. But I would start with and you'd need to commit to at least one person, new person a day that you're going to reach out to. I want you to turn in the MTRs, um, which look like this. And this is a form that you can get if you go to discoverredoxtraining.com. There's a tab at the top called MTR. It's measure, track, and report. And just do the weekly one and you can do the daily one for yourself if you want. But the weekly one is this and it will have how many dials, invites, new prospects, follow-up calls, three-way calls, enrollments, associate customer orientation, team touch calls, and then for personal development, your books, gratitude, and keeping connected. I would fill all this out and I would like to it turned into me and everything's going to be on the Acceler greater group 24 at gmail.com i made up a specific email for this group so i don't have to go searching through all my emails for all your <laughs> turn-ins and i would like this turned in every saturday to me this is going to help me immensely with how many people do three-way phone calls i know a lot of you don't you can't be successful without three-way phone calls and that would include getting on webinars um, showing them the Ask the Doctors, getting them on the anti-aging webinar, whatever it is, you need three ways. You need other people to come in and be part of um, the um, solidifying agency to have their belief go up. Because if they're just hearing from you, it's not going to go anywhere. I can tell you that. And then they won't duplicate the same thing. If you're not doing three ways, you're you're the people that you introduce this to won't do three ways. And you may have all the credibility in the world, but most of your people won't. So, and even doctors, like I see Dr. Ed on. Um, David Silverman does a three-way and he usually uses me a lot of times just so people can see that they you don't need to be a doctor to, to be doing this. So it's very important that you do three ways in however you can, webinars or actual three ways. And then what was very enlightening, I think, to Pearl and myself, because Pearl's staying with me right now, uh, as you can see, she's behind me. <laughs> we did the audit and um, it took us all day, pretty much on uh, Saturday to do this audit. And I still haven't because of um, the great news and I'll just do something personal here. We went to Jackie's gender reveal yesterday and she's having a girl. <laughs> So congratulations again, Jackie. Um, so that took up my day yesterday. So I haven't added up all my entertainment because as you can imagine for entertainment and for investment in myself and for getting to events, I had a lot of expenses. So I'm going to add these up. I'm going to probably share this with you um, so you can see how much money I put back into my business uh, and how important that is to be able to move forward, to get to events, to do all those things. So um, make sure that you've turned in your audit. I know I have already gotten um, the audit in the accelerator group from uh, Dr. Ed, 
and Diane Benyon, Pearl, Michelle, Dave Barker, Bob Ringler, Sandy Stewart, Peter Graham, Lisa Dobbins. Um, I already said Diane. Um, if somebody else sent it to me on my regular email, would you raise your hand? Okay, Sean, I will look for yours. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to have to do all that uh, looking and I didn't get it out to you in time. Okay. Um, Deb, I'm happy to resend it to you in the at the new one. No, no problem. It, well, whatever. It's fine. I just wanted to be able to look for it. Um, did you did both. Okay, thanks, Anne. Sure. I didn't see yours. Okay, I'll go look again. Okay, so I've created, like I said, that Gmail for everyone to use so that I don't misplace anything. Um, and there's going to be some trainings uh, that I expect people to get down, I guess I'll say. And that's why this is going to be recorded, because I know when I talk about going into your back office and looking for things, some people have never used some of the reports in their back office. And they don't know where they are, and they don't even know what they can tell people. And so um, with that in mind, I'm going to send out uh and talking to Danielle, Danielle's already done a couple of them. I'm going to do a lot more of them and they will be little snippets so I can send them to you so you can learn what your back office means. Because if one of your goals is to go up in ASEA to the diamond level, then you're going to need to know these reports and what they do. And you're going to be able, you're going also going to be able to need to explain them to people and your downline and stuff because you're needed. Like the Director 300 report is essential almost from the very first day you start. And a lot of people don't even know where to go to, to look those up. But I have some recordings um, about that and I will be sending them to the Accelerator group and hopefully you'll be able to use them. And this is also gonna be a, a little bit of a mastermind group also. So I there's a lot of brilliant minds on here and if you have ideas, suggestions, or anything, you know, I'm always welcome and open to having you guys chime in. And, and of course, there'll be questions that will be answered in this group. And it will usually run from 30 to 45 minutes or so. If you can't stay on the whole time, like I said, this will be recorded. So I'll be sending it out to everyone. So first of all, any questions about anything just please unmute yourself. Please feel free to do that. Um, Carla Leaftia, an associate, wanted to know, is there a time frame that we're doing this or is this pretty much all year? I'm pretty much going to do this until you get to where you want to be. I want to really help people, and I mean it this year, uh, to get to where they want to be. So mm -hmm. definitely, you know, if your goal and you guys can, you know, in your time, hopefully, you know, such a gentleman. Thank you. You got to mute Sharona. There we go. There we go. Um, and I'll pick somebody to be a a, a co-host with me in the future, so they can mute people and help me. Uh, in your audit, hopefully, you've determined kind of where you want to be, and maybe by when. So when I get to read these, because I'm going to print them all off and I'm going to go through them and read them, that'll be part of my assignment for this week. Um, I want to see where you are and where you want to go, basically. And and so, you know, if, it's, if your goal is by convention so that you can walk across the stage at September, then hopefully we can get you there by then. <clears throat> With that in mind, also, I'm going to make myself uh, available which I always have, but I think I think some people are afraid to reach out. I will probably set up a 20 minute Zoom that people can send anybody to on a once a week basis. I already do the anti-aging on Wednesdays. I don't know another good night unless I just back to back them, maybe on Wednesday night. I don't know if that's a good night for everyone. I, I know maybe some people do Sunday schools or something on Wednesday nights. Um, so that's not a good time. And maybe I can do two a week. I've also done private ones. Um, Jackie and I do private ones for a lot of her people all the time, like 
and for Daniela and stuff like that. I've done many different private ones. So I'm always open to doing that. All you'd have to do is reach out. And um, if you don't mind sharing, if you wouldn't want mind other people being on the call, if you had a private group for some of your people, if you put it in the accelerator group and I say, yes, I'm going to do one at eight o'clock PM mountain time on Wednesday and anybody else had people that could join, that would be great. If you want a private one, then text me privately. But if you don't mind other people in this group sharing, then put it in the accelerator group and everybody will know that I'm doing one on Thursday night at seven or something like that. Okay. Wednesday is everyone, night um, your accelerator is really the only time it's available. What? To schedule one Wednesday night after your after your anti aging. Anti aging really is the only window. Yeah, there are, are, if I do it in the evenings, there aren't many other time slots because for our team, we do have the Ask the Doctor on Tuesday night. Monday night is usually the team phone call. This is a national holiday, so we're not going to have a team mm -hmm. phone call tonight. Okay. Um, but usually Monday is the team phone call. Tuesday is Ask the Doctor. Wednesday is the anti-aging. Thursday is the Alan Nobles. And Friday is the ASEA 5. So you've got something to get people to every mm -hmm. single night. What about and Thursday, Thursday, at an hour before Alan Noble, like 7 p.m. I could do Central. that. Too. Yep, Maybe. I could do that too. At 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, it usually goes an hour because people do have questions, but mm -hmm. which is fine. I always plan on an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but how's Thursday night? Everybody want to give me a hands up? Is Thursday night at Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern? 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although Dan, that's when Diane Dion does hers. Debbie, how about yes. Wednesday before your your anti aging at eight o'clock? Like anti aging is a great night. idea. I could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those interested can just continue with anti aging. Mm -hmm. What okay. about what about after Carolyn Hoffman? Do you mind? I think it's kind of late for East Coast. I think. Yeah. yeah. And Carolyn's is so meaty that, you know, mm -hmm, it's almost mm -hmm. hard to go do something after that. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll probably do it Wednesday night to start with. I'll do it before the anti-aging one. Mm -hmm. So it will start at six mountain time. Five Pacific. I like to seven central and uh, eight Eastern. Okay. That was too odd. <laughs> Please mute yourself if you're talking. Thank you. Um, and not about this. All right. So let me write that down too. So Wednesday night I will start. So will that be the same Zoom as this morning? Zoom number and and password. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I think I have it all day Wednesday. David does, or the rest of the team do, doesn't use it on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday at six mountain, I'll do a 20 minute zoom for anybody to lock, come into, mm -hmm. have guests. Debbie, Debbie, do you foresee continuing with the anti-aging indefinitely or is it just bound by a certain amount of time? No, I didn't find that either by a certain amount of time. I'm seeing how it's going. And we had a lot of people on last week. And I would like to have somebody on with me again this week, um, if if anyone is avail available, uh, just to kind of share what's happened with them. Daniela has been on. Rosie was on. She did a great job. They both did a great job. Um, so if anybody would like to be on with me, I would love to have that happen. All right. Any questions? Were there any questions about the audit or anything like that? Yes, uh, okay. I do have actually. Uh, thanks, Debbie. Uh, under the investments, do we have to put a dollar amount or just like list, you know, like uh, social media or just list the names like Chamber of Commerce well, or some local mixers? Or... What Daniel, what Danielle was talking about was, uh, what was your dollar investment? Because that way you can compare what you invested in yourself by the entertainment that you went to, and then also for the uh, events that you went to. 
So dollar amount just kind of opens your eyes a little bit. If you'd rather not, well, no, I, I won't say that. Um, all of this information in your audit will be kept private. I won't share it with anyone unless somebody doesn't mind. Um, but I'll I'll probably share mine with you guys so you can kind of see as a diamond. I have a quick oh. question, Debbie. Yes. Um, when I was watching uh, Danielle's um, training on, on this audit, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. she was showing us the, the back office and how to go in and look at our personal enrollments and associates and, and that. Um, is it like her back office is different than mine? Is it because she's at a higher rank? Because I'm like, You'll notice when I when you read my audit that I put a question mark on my on the total of my associates and the total of my preferred customers because it says I have zero on the right and that's not true. So I'm just kind of confused about that. But uh... go back and look. Pearl and I noticed kind of some of the same things. I have zero. I have zero as far as personal. It looked like customers, but I have 18. So, you yeah. know, I would go back and look because on the weekends, as a lot of us have noticed, um, the back office isn't always correct. It's way off a lot of times. So if you did your audit on Saturdays or, or Sunday even. It was, yes. Um, I would just go back and then maybe we can rediscuss it, you know, next week or something like that because – um, hopefully it's up to date. I always kind of, I mean, the most accurate one, of course, they keep adding to your totals and stuff like that over the week as people's um, subscriptions go through. So Friday is your most accurate. That's where you have everything in. Um, so if you want to look on Friday, maybe. Also, I so saw I noticed that it tells you period. So it's between a period and a period, like a time. As far as new associates or new or customers? Um, so I am on the binary tree, kind of like checking to see, but even on the um I think on the reports also it says period three. So it's not all the periods that you have your um people in, but it's certain period that it shows. So probably there's a way to choose all the periods. So it shows everybody oh. or everything. You're in your dashboard, and um, so even if I go on the this director, week, so for this week, that's how many you have. But that should be yeah. kind of the total of everything. I mean, it, it fluctuates because people do drop off, and then other people are added, so it fluctuates period by period. But that is your total. So I will mm -hmm. share my screen quickly and show you my back office as far as. <clears throat> And we'll see if it's up to date at all. <laughs> um, I find Friday is the best day to go look at that exactly. back office because it changes all the time. Yeah. So, um, so again, sponsor tree preferred customers um, has zero still for me. So I don't know what what that means. So you are on your dashboard, correct? I'm on my dashboard. So this is where she said to go. Go to growth, and your here's your total active associates left and right. So I just added those up, and my binary tree preferred customers. Um, I have almost as many preferred customers as I do associates. Um, and then if you go down to the bottom, it it does give you your preferred customers, um, part at least a partial list depending on how far back you go. So I have all of these that are uh, preferred customers to me that I've signed up and um, they're not listed on the sponsor tree preferred customers. So I don't know. And why. where would be the place to see who is the person who is not active and maybe help them? Okay. So that's one of the things I was going to go into today because I, but okay. I, I hope this doesn't go over Number anything you said. <laughs> it, Debbie, um, before you switch pages, so this yes. is what I was talking about on this page when you showed uh, the, the binary tree and then the uh, uh, keep going. 
So yeah, so the binary tree, uh, the sponsor tree, I don't have that in my virtual office. I don't have sponsor tree. Sponsor tree for customers, binary. well, obviously it's not working, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I was a little unclear with, so if I keep going and I go to uh, my personal enrollments, am I just adding uh, personally enrolled people in 2023 or from the time I started? 2023. Oh, okay, this was an you. audit of last year. That's what I figured. Thank you. And for me, when I was looking up different people, kind of to see kind of what you'd done. And um, Jackie's not even in, like my own daughter's not even in there. So I don't know what happened. I know she changed her name, but that's one thing I have to call about. Because when you go in, um, I don't know if you know this, um, this is how you can find yours very quickly. When you go into associate team enrollments, this is at the bottom of the dashboard and you click on view full report here. And I have a lot, so excuse me, but um, then if you do sponsor name, it puts them in alphabetical order. So I can go in and see Diane Benyon's signups and Peter Graham and Daniela and everybody's signups. Um, and, but I have to go through a lot to get to people's names. Like I just passed Amy Nolan. Here's Anna Zhu um, right here. Anybody else with an A here would show up. Um, and then you have to go find um, your name in it. But I, you know, like I said, I was looking for a few of you and and Jackie Wetzler's not even in there. And Jackie uh, Martinez is not in there either. So I'll have to ask them about it. So I don't know. I mean, the reports are normally accurate, but we'll see. This is going to be a cleanup job on the back office. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, so let me move this over and get to um, where you go. So if you go to reports over here, on the side, hopefully you know your side key here, and you go to reports and click on it. The second one, that, well, the first one for you guys, because I have ambassador PGV requirements. So my back office is a little different than some of yours. But if you go to associate customer search, click on that. Because this was gonna be your first assignment to go see who in your downline is suspended and maybe give them a call and just chat and say happy new year and just was checking with you know some of my friends or people depending on your relationship with them and maybe in the conversation if it was a friend just say i've been meaning to ask you how's it going with asia and just kind of act like you don't really <laughs> know that they've been suspended and they'll say oh i've stopped and you'll say oh well do you mind if i ask was it was it the cost? Was it you weren't seeing or feeling anything? And maybe, you know, these people were interested at one time. These are some of your easiest people to maybe get back in. Um, maybe some of them were kind of recent and they didn't even know they'd been suspended yet. So, and I've got a few of these um, associates to look into. So, this can give you a number of different, um, what do I want to say, uh, categories and stuff like that. So you can save templates in this. And so if I just put on associate and show report, it's going to show me all my associates. But there is a way to select your column headings so you can learn exactly what you want. Do you want their email? Do you want their phone number? Do you want their address? Uh, do you want, if they've done any fast forwards? So if I select column headings, this is all the different information you can get about your people. <clears throat> so you can see here, it's active sponsored, successful fast forward programs, a second phone number, um, binary qualified birthday, business name, carryover, left volume and right volume whatever you want. And then the regular stuff, first name, email, is what I've got on this, just, just to show me who are my associates. And what you do is you pick the ones, you can click on any of these. 
And if you click on them at the very bottom, because you have to scroll down because it's a long list, you click move. You move to the column that you, you move whatever information you want over to the right. And that's what will show up in your report. And then you click save at the bottom. And that's how, that's how this will show up. So if I just want to see my associates, that's the information that I'm going to see on my associates. And you're going to record it so they can go back and, and look at this. This is recorded. Yeah. Um, so what I've done is selected some templates here and um, I've got suspended renewal date on it. Because once you've created that, you can save it in an advanced search. So the re suspended renewal date, I'll put that in and I will hit show report then. And maybe you wanna see the column headings on this. So I've got the level, the first name and the last name and um, account status. That's very important for you to put in if you wanna see suspended. What is their account status? and their associate ID. You don't have to put all this information in, but you need account status in there so you know where it is. Leave that screen up a second. Leave that screen up a second, okay. That's just what I wanted to know about okay. them. Sorry, I can be you. <laughs> right. Pearl's taking a picture, <laughs> okay. Um, now when I, when I hit show report, and this might take a second, It'll give me the people in my organization that are suspended. And especially for the ones, hopefully this doesn't take that long. Although it is Monday and nobody's there probably. There it is. <laughs> so SOH-R means they are suspended. They haven't been terminated yet. So I can still save their position, especially if they've got a good one. Like the first one on top is Linda Djokovic. And um, she was one of the first ones that signed up. So I definitely have to call her. I'm not even sure she's aware she's suspended. <clears throat> um, but this gives me their name and their phone numbers. So I can call them and that they are suspended. And then this goes down into, you know, different levels like Jan Bihar happens to be under Pearl. So I'll just tell you that. And it tells you who who is their sponsor right here. So I can either contact Pearl and say, are you interested in saving this person? Because she might have a better relationship than I do, or, or I might not even have a relationship with this person. <clears throat> so I would suggest and make this an assignment that you go into your suspended people, if you have any, if you're kind of new, you might not even have any, and try to, and, did, and I'll ask if anybody, if everybody understood that, and try to maybe save some of your suspended people because if they eventually see this, I mean, you can bring up the fact that we now have white papers and to show that this really does work and you can bring that up with them and, they, and they're like, really? Because I didn't feel anything. Well, you're not going to feel, um, you're not going to feel necessarily your information, inflammation decrease and that this is decreasing the uh, NRF2, the oxidative stress in your body. You don't feel that, but that's what it's doing. That was 100% every single time, 40 to 60% that the that they drove the NFR2 cells into the cells and it decreased the inflammation by that much and increased glutathione by that much. So that's a very important thing maybe to bring up because, you know, I always tell people that, I always used to tell people that this cleaned out their blood. I still do. And that's something else you don't feel. But it takes out the heavy metals and the and all that kind of different things in your blood system. So you can always bring that up. Something else you don't feel. But it works on every every single person that way. So did I kind of make that clear as far as the customer associate search? Any questions on that? Because you can put up whatever you want. I've 
found all my diamonds mm -hmm. that way. I found all my golds. I found all my silvers. I found people who, um, if I want to send out birthday greetings, I know mm -hmm. if you're on Facebook, it already tells you, but you can send out birthday mm -hmm. things, you know, so you can keep up with people that way. That's a really good way mm -hmm. to, to go in there and look at that. And you can click on birthdays and it'll show you especially like this month mm -hmm. who's got a birthday this month because people is, are missing that in the genie mm -hmm. go app because that mm -hmm. used to populate and tell you mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you can actually look it up like mm -hmm. you could go in the first of the first mm -hmm. of every month and go look up birthdays and and write it down and reach out to your people mm -hmm. they are thrilled if they hear from you mm -hmm. this is awesome this is the first time i've ever known this report existed mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> It's like, Sandy, I'm surprised. Thank, You're thank so you. Of I've usually yeah. dug into every report, but I didn't even look at this. But there's also like all these default save templates, like absolutely who did fast, who did fast forwards, renewal in 30 days. It's like yep. you don't have to even create one. It's pretty much it's like the birthday reports in there. All those right. um, save templates are already in there. So awesome. Yeah, but I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can we still? If you know the person is high up in a really good position and they don't want to do anything, can right. we still renew for them and keep them, keep that absolutely. position? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And I have Thanks. done that with a couple people. I have some very people that didn't want to do anything anymore. So I pay their $25 because they're not on subscription. I keep that. Occasionally I might place even a, a, a um, what do you call it? <laughs> a case underneath them. Uh, an order so that they'll stay kind of active. Um, and that way, if I have somebody that I meet, because you never know who you're going to run into, there's diamonds in your backyard all the time. So if you meet somebody and they're really excited and they really want to get going and they want to start making extra money, you can offer them that position. And I don't know if people know that or not either. Um, and again, if you're brand new, you probably don't have too many top spots, but you know, at, the longer you're in, the more top spots you have. And that person can buy that position for $500. If they're brand new and they don't have to wait. Wow. You know, to do anything. They can just buy that position. Um, mm -hmm. And you get the person, you know, if you still got a relationship with them, hopefully you do. Um, but say it's Bobby White. <laughs> and you go back to Bobby and say, okay, I want to buy your, um, I'm going to, have you turn over and sign off that you want to sell your position it's not worth anything if he hasn't done anything so don't let them talk you into oh i need some money for it no <laughs> it's not worth anything uh the new person's already going to be paying 500 dollars to get that position debbie yes what i do is if they are not interested i go and get them sign the the transfer yes. first Yes, then when the time comes, I can just put the date and transfer without having to go back to them in case they move and you cannot find them. Exactly. So if you've got somebody in the top spot and you want to keep that, if you want to keep one or two of them, whatever, because um, you might run into somebody very excited, do exactly what Amy just said. That's what I do also. Before they leave, have them sign the transfer of ownership. Does everyone know where to find a transfer of ownership form? That's in your library, in your back office and resources. It's called transfer of ownership. Uh, Deb. Yes, Deb. Way to re <clears throat> if you lose it, because I, I, I'm one of those that, that was victimized with it because I didn't know. I have, uh, I have one really good spot that both legs are working, left and right, and this guy quit. And I thought when I let him quit and 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 not and be suspended and terminated that I can reclaim the position, but it's not. Is there any way that you could no. reclaim that? No. Once it's gone, it's gone. That's why I tell people. But those people, um, if he was front line to you, will roll up to you as your front level director, three hundreds or whatever. I know, but that position is is very good. Yeah, you got a, a gold on the left and a, a, a platinum on the right. So, oh wow, oh my gosh, I know. I'm sorry, Ed. I could, I could still, I could shoot myself. 
for $25. Don't shoot yourself. Don't shoot yourself. <laughs> um, just kind of keep track, you know, especially if you're looking up suspended people and it's a really good spot. Like I, if Linda doesn't want that spot, I'm going to keep it. She was one of my first people to sign up on my left side. You know, she's got thousands of people underneath her. So I sometimes, sometimes you guys need to listen to upline, even if you don't understand. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> and how long does the transfer of ownership for stays? You know, like if you have them, let's say they have a. Hierarchy. Don't date it. Just have them sign it. And like if Linda doesn't, you know, if Linda, if I call Linda today and she says, no, I'm not interested, I'm going to have her sign. I'm going to have her sign the transfer of ownership. And then when I find somebody excited, um, I'll have her signature already. I don't have to go find her wherever she might be because she travels a lot. <laughs> um, and uh, and that way I just date it and have them sign that they want to buy it. And, and then they send it into compliance at aseaglobal.com and they pay their $500 and they're in that they've taken over that place. So they move okay. the person to your downline in this case, right? So they what? I'm sorry. They move the person. Let, let's say you have Linda and I want to buy it for, just for an example. So I can pay. How, how can I get her? I mean, you, they can move. If from you wanted to do it, you'd have to sit out for a year and then buy it. Because you're already an associate. I'm talking about uh, somebody new. Oh, for you one. Somebody oh. new, I find, and they really want to start making money right away. If I if I give them that position, they already have a lot of stuff on their left. They'd have to put one person on their left and then just start building their right. Okay, so a new person coming in doesn't have to wait. There's no waiting period. They can just start right away, buy the position. But what about the position they're buying? How long does that position have to be inactive before it can be bought? It, it doesn't, it can't be inactive. It's if it's inactive, you can't buy it at all. It terminates like Ed does. So oh, that's why oh, okay. I'm going to go, if Linda doesn't want this, I'll go pay the $25 and make sure that it stays active. Okay, so my very first person, like years ago, she just stopped uh, her auto ship, I don't know, probably close to a year now. Mm -hmm. So she's probably already terminated. So I can't do, I'll have to okay. go into the back office and see. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you to go look. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Because yeah, she's the top one on my personal leg. So someone totally new coming in would love that spot. Yep. Yeah. Well, you can also go, okay, so here's a place that you can find that, especially if if she's the top one, um, if you go to binary tree, click on it. If she's your top one, <laughs> see my top one here yeah. is terminated. So I can't even see who it is if I click on it. Black bar at the bottom and an axis. Yep, okay. exactly. Um, and that's probably one I know Peggy Hart was my first person that I signed up. So this is somebody that Cindy signed up. So she had signed up about seven people over here. So this is Cindy's person that got terminated. So if she's your top one, that's how easy you can find it. Now, if you're looking for somebody who's terminated or suspended, if you kind of know where they are in your binary tree, you can look them up because it'll. That's what, that's what terminated means. Suspended is this sign. Here's suspended right here. You can still click on that and see who it is. So that is Patty Asia. <laughs> I think that's Peggy's sister. Um, so she is suspended. So if I wanted to save that, I'd have to call her and say, Patty, you sure you want to be terminated? Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's my question. So when you see an account that is suspended, you can save it. How long before it's terminated? We don't know that. Oh, okay. It's supposed. What'd you say, Peter? Three months. It's supposed to be three months, but there. That's not always. Yeah, that's not always, that's that's always you know what they do, but anyway, <laughs> um, so you can save them if they're suspended. If you want to pay the twenty-five dollars, 
Meaning so like, like if Alexander decides he really doesn't ever want to do this, I'd save that top spot. That's my son. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. I'd have him sign a transfer of ownership, although I could probably find him. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that way somebody could buy that spot if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And is it the fact that if someone's on a subscription that the $25 is waived? If they're on or, a subscription, the $25 is waived. But if they're suspended, yeah. they haven't been on subscription. Right. Okay. They'll have okay. to pay it. They but have to be on auto dollars. Yeah. They have to be on auto ship of 100 points or more for okay. at least six months in the previous year. Okay. Right. And then that, that way they don't have to pay okay. it. Right. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's how you can tell Diane if, you know, if they're suspended or terminated. Hopefully they're not terminated. You can save that if you want. Yeah, that's excellent news. I had no idea that I could pay their $25 fee. And yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's why we're doing this. So people can learn. <laughs> perfect. I have a question about, just curious, why is the number $500 was, that someone's paying? That's what they decided. They wanted just, people to be serious about it. You know, it used to be a hundred, I think. And, um, mm -hmm. but I guess, I think there were too many transfers that were happening. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to up the ante. So, you know, if you're dead serious, yes, you'll pay $500. You'll make that back very quickly if you've got a good spot, if you mm -hmm. work at least, because um, mm -hmm. you do have to sign up people on your other side to mm -hmm. continue to make money. But, mm -hmm. you know, if they're that excited and they want to buy a spot, Usually they do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. My spot is immediate $500 a month minimum. Mm -hmm. And I lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost that spot, but now you won't lose any more. No, not anymore. I need to listen to Amy. But again, oh. I think that's good that they've rolled up to mm -hmm. you. You've got a gold and a platinum front line to you now. Um, yeah, the the one is on the other side, the common leg, and then so the one on the left side rolled over. So, and and make sure if you are uh, renewing that it is renewing people personally sponsored by you. Don't yes. renew somebody who sponsored. Like in this case, Peggy sponsored the sister. You don't want to renew the sister. <laughs> no, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're personally sponsored so you can transfer it and and sell yeah. that. It's personally sponsored. Yes. Okay. So that's your assignment mm -hmm. for this week. I want you to go in and look for any suspended people. If you don't have any, you've got an easy assignment. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I would like you to call those, like I'm going to be doing, those suspended people and just see if maybe they want to save their spot. A and again, because you can say, see is moving forward. And, you know, we're starting, the white papers are huge, I think as far as, you know, bringing that up to people. Because now they've, there's medical proof that mm -hmm. this works <laughs> on everyone. Mm -hmm. Debbie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, would you be available after 11 our time, which is 12 your time? I have a chiropractor who wants yes. to stop. So, and she has like 600 um, points to redeem. So she wants to rede redeem them and stop. Okay. I'd appreciate it if, uh, well, what's a good time for you? So I can set it up. Just phone call. Um, I've just got a phone call right after this at 9.30 my time. Mm -hmm. So um, other than I'm and available. After 11. I'm working. Hmm? After, after 12 11. your time. Yeah, that's fine. Anytime. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty free today because it is a holiday, I think. And, and um mm -hmm. So if anybody has anything, please let me know. And I'm just going to be working on, again, still all of this. Not and ah. not going anywhere because it's snowing again and it's mm -hmm. minus seven, whatever. Mm -hmm. Minus seven. Oh, wimps. I'd be wearing oh, shorts if it was minus seven. God. Debbie, one more quick question before you go. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, I'm fine. I was going to call us this support, but they're closed today. So yes. I started to fast forward, enrolled two people uh, in, on the weekend. My second one, <clears throat> she's from a different province. So we were on the phone 
I sent her my website. And so she, I was, you know, going through it on my computer with her. When we, en <clears throat> when someone enrolls, joins from, from the website, it does not give them the option to set up auto ship. That is so bizarre. Is mm -hmm. It, it does, but it <laughs> might be buried. Um, but yes, uh, we can call. We can call first thing tomorrow and get that set oh, up. So I, I, we sorted it out. So what? Oh, you did. Okay. Thank God she she's smart that in that way because I didn't think of this. She goes, well, I'll just put in my initial order, like the family pack or the big pack that she got, and right. she goes. Then once I get you know my ID number, I'll log into my account, set up an auto ship. So we did that while we were on the phone, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. worked, I think. But that's why I wanted to call it CIA today just to. Hmm. Make sure that that goes on the fast forward hmm. accounts. Yes. Well, I did yes. get a, an email notification that it came through in the fast forward, but I don't know if her auto ship uh, is set up, hmm. but I'm sure, I'm sure I can call Tuesday and verify. So that should be fine. Hmm. Yes. So does anyone does, else? Does that? that make, does that ensure, because I know that at one point you don't get, you don't get credit for the fast forward unless they do an auto ship. Yeah, Is that's that, how I verify that it's going to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Said, so uh, that, that's still the case, right? They need to be on auto ship in order to get the fast forward credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it, now you have to go through the first uh, subscription before you get the fast forward. Right. So, yes. Right. Um, and so it should count since she put it in um, because she's going to. But anyway, yeah, we'll just make sure mm -hmm. that it was. You know, and that, just to verify, this is our personal website, not the back office. That, mm -hmm. that is not, yeah. So it's the website, the 3.0 website. Yeah. Yeah, that's doing that. It doesn't give you the option to set up on Oh, huh. that's but strange. If, but I if mean, you could, unless, um, sorry, unless Canada's different, there's always like subscribe and save or add to, even on the. Right. So if I want to enroll somebody, Stop it. You're in your back office, though, right? That's not yeah, I'm in my back office. office. She's talking you about said the website, right? Are you saying my site then, Diane? Yes, the my, my site? site. No, you don't have that yet. anyway. My yeah. CLI. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's the one she had. Because hmm. I couldn't figure out how to... Because uh, well, she wanted to enroll herself. She didn't want me to have access to her credit card information. And I, hmm. I, I honored that. Um, so, but I couldn't, I didn't know how to send her my virtual office, you know, you know what I mean? Because it's so easy there. So this is, uh, so if she, oh my God, so this is your personal website. This is my mm -hmm. website. So if she, mm -hmm. she yes. did a fam, if she did a family pack, uh, yeah. um, it's here. Yeah. Add to today's order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kenza might be different. Too. And then when you scroll down, you can look Then at when you scroll down, uh, mm -hmm. there's add to subscription. Hmm. Yeah, That's I don't what people see. don't see. Yeah. The... You know what? That was probably exactly it. We didn't scroll down far enough. Right. So... It doesn't pop up. It just uh, you need to scroll down and wh yeah. whatever you want, add it to mm -hmm. the subscription. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like okay. Oh my god. Now I feel really silly. <laughs> no, don't. That's why I'm doing this. I think people mm -hmm. are not seeing certain things. Mm -hmm. And again, I mean, sometimes I had to do the same thing. But anyway, but this is all so you you have to get past the packs because you mm -hmm. can't add a pack to the subscription. So right. you have to go into the different products and whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. So what we had done is she had clicked the family pack, add to cart. Right. And then another screen came up with her cart. And then there was no option there. No, once there. you click on the cart, there's no option. You yeah. have to scroll down exactly. and add this to subscription. And you might want to tell her that if she's going to be doing the business. Yes. And, yes. and this is how you also add extra product. If you wanted the family pack, but you wanted a cell performance, here's how you add it. Then you add it to today's order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, it's subscription. But we don't get that in Canada. So no, I know, but. That whatever so i mean whatever you've got down there it, yeah. it goes by different countries so i'm just we saying get the mask for example it's and even if you house. add even if, if you add to the cart if you scroll down far enough it will say continue shopping so it'll take you back to the product options but you got to right. kind of scroll down you don't see it right away so. 
Right. So if you go all the way, uh, every time I touch my screen, sorry, I need to just scroll down. Anyway, if you go, you know, all the way down, there's what I need to order bottles. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it'll say continue after that and it'll continue. And that's when you add all your information. Mm -hmm. Again, unless they fixed it, I haven't done this. If you've got a different billing and shipping, you enter the credit card twice. There mm -hmm. is a thing for that. Yeah. And otherwise it doesn't work. It'll it'll kick you out and say, you know, mm -hmm. not not accepted. Mm -hmm. I will say that for all those people that have snowbirds here in Canada can go have their order shipped down to the US. They've now changed the policy where you used to be able to go in and just change the address and everything would get changed under that same auto ship, but now you have mm -hmm. to, don't cancel the auto ship first, put your US auto ship under the US address first. Mm -hmm. You may have to move the auto ship date out by a few days because you need a week in between auto ships to, to change it, create a US auto ship, and then go back and cancel the Canadian auto ship. And suppose, well, it will, so they tell me, uh, continue their auto ship because they still have a continuous auto ship. Yeah. Hmm. But can you, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that about the different shipping and billing credit card that you just said before Peter was talking? That you, where do you, if you, you have, have a different, well, I, and I can't really show you unless I'm actually filling out okay. person. I'd have to make up some names and maybe I can do that, you know, well, later. That, that happened to me. That's why I'm wondering if you could repeat. It happened to a customer who was trying to buy something well, it's, for somebody else. Right. So it's not very visible, but when you click on this is a different, billing is a different address. Mm -hmm. It'll ask for the credit card again. So you have to put it in there again or mm -hmm. it kicks you out. Because I did that with, I was helping somebody sign up and they had a different billing and shipping. and it. When I first put it in, I didn't see it, and it said um, error cannot, you know, this person can't be signed up, basically. And um, so I went back into it, and then I saw where you had to add the the credit card a second time mm -hmm. under the billing address, and then it went through. Okay. But I know people had been having problems with that. Yeah, that happened. And it, it kept actually what it was saying was like, yeah, it wasn't accepting the credit card. And we right. had just purchased her product mm -hmm. on it. And then she was trying to buy for somebody else. And it kept kicking it out, like saying credit card declined, you know, <laughs> or wouldn't right. accept it. So, okay. That so just sense. go back in and yeah, look at, look to see where you add it. Um, I've talked to them about that. I said, this is yeah. You know, not this is stupid, but <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think they've fixed it quite yet, but maybe they have. I mean, it's a security feature to have that thing match up, though. So that might be something hard for them to dis dismiss, you know, where they. Yeah. You need to live yeah, to. where your credit card bill goes or it right. needs to be aligned with the credit card. Something right. in, on the filing system of the com uh, bank. Did Debbie, I, I have a... something here? Yes. I, I had the same thing happen. Um, I tried to make two payments. No, never mind. It's a diff totally different thing. Sorry. No, that's okay. You make, if, if you have you, a question, though, go ahead. Well, sometimes if you just put in a, a different amount, uh, it might go through. But I think I'm thinking of something totally different. So forget what I just said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe, and, um, I have a question about the redeem. You know, when I was talking to this chiropractor her, trying to help her, the redeem is taking me to a like shopping cart. Right. That was kind of strange. Is it has that changed or what? Yes. So I couldn't. Yeah. How can I do it's the redeem for her? You got to click on like the product. Points. Yeah, All right. So click, if I go click. here and I go to the front where my. <clears throat> yeah. Don't want to see this again. <laughs> okay. When I clicked on redeem. Mm -hmm. And I've said this many times on our. 
anyway, you click on the picture and it says that somewhere. Where does it say mm -hmm. it? In an I orange box. I don't think box. it does. There used to be kind of like a little um, a there used to be orange say. box, but anyway. Orange, yeah, maybe you've done once you it. Once you've done it, maybe you, it doesn't tell you again, but there's an orange box that pops oh, up maybe. to tell you to click on yeah, the picture. So you click on the picture. Okay. Then, Debbie, I posted that in the Team Prosperity, How to Redeem Redux Points. Okay. But yeah. I'm just showing you, them again. If you scroll up, mm -hmm. you can show. So here's where it, it already defaults to subscribe. You don't want to subscribe to it. Um, you don't want to add to today's order. You want to use the Redox reward points. So you click on that. I see. Okay. Now, you, now it asks you, do you want to put this on your net subscription so you're not paying for double uh, shipping? Or do you want to order it right away because you need it right away? Mm -hmm. So that's your next step. Add to today's order. Do you want to order it today? Or do you want to put it on your, like my subscription comes on the 10th of every month. Do I want to put it on the 10th next time? And just pay for one shipping. Okay. And then after you've answered that question, you add it to your cart. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So they changed this, right? Because it wasn't mm -hmm. that way. They changed it, yes. But they're yeah. probably going to okay. change it again because it's confusing way too many people. Because they mm -hmm. don't look at the boxes and go, oh, mm -hmm. I don't want to mm -hmm. subscribe. I, mm -hmm. I want to use my Redox reward points. So thank there you. Is. Thank you. Thank do you. do you realize, Anne, that when you do it the first time, it doesn't look this clear. There is like a hazy thing that comes over it and you've got to press like next and <laughs> you then have these boxes that show up. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different presentation when you mm -hmm. first do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, and, and that may be where Amy's a Amy's, you know, walkthrough could be really helpful mm -hmm. to look at because mm -hmm. it, yeah. it was freaky when you first <laughs> saw it. Thanks. And I can also add that to the accelerator group. All right. In three minutes, I'm going to have somebody that is calling me. Do, any other okay. questions? <laughs> I do have one other question with regard to how we're melding Di uh, Danielle's um, trainings on Saturday. Because she has like a training that she does. And she actually had an assignment within that training, you know, to, to, to lord five people. So right. I wasn't sure whether that was. And I will probably be bringing that up and kind of uh, doing that myself. So okay. you could not do hers. I'm just giving mm -hmm. you your assignments for this one. So got I would it. go to your suspended people, if you have any, and try to mm -hmm. save them or find out why they they are, don't want it. And look to see if the spot is a good one if you've personally sponsored them and then pay their $25. That's all part of mm -hmm. your assignment. Okay? okay. Quick question, Debbie. Yep. With my active customers and my personal customer enrollment, they're different. Active customers and personal customer. Mm -hmm. um, Could somebody? They are because there's, I mean, I have 3,000 customers. I didn't okay. personally sign up all of them. Okay. So like somebody that, my upline that put somebody on one of my sides, that person could be putting in customers and I'm seeing that. Well, you're seeing it in your in your active personal yes. customer report. You don't see okay. their names or anything. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Awesome. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. Thank you. All right. Of course. Uh, this, this is moved to Wednesday then. Uh, eight o'clock. No, no. no, no. This stays the same. I'm going to okay. be doing a 20 minute Zoom for people. Meaning, oh. explaining it on Wednesdays right before the anti-aging thing. Oh, okay. 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 So That's just an added feature for all of you guys, basically. So that if you've got people and they want just a quick overview in a simple way, you've seen it many times, Ed. <laughs> you saw it all throughout the Philippines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, then uh, that's what I'll be doing on Wednesday nights. That's it. Okay. And if I need to add another one, I will. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right, that's Thank open so to much. everybody on this same number, Zoom number. Thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. Debbie. All right. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.